So in this video, we're going to be talking about Camera Raw uh, presets. And if you've never worked with Camera Raw presets, they're really spectacular. And we uh, do a lot of work with the folks over at PhotoEffects.biz. Uh, his name's Gavin Phillips over there. He's an absolute mastermind when it comes to Photoshop Actions and Lightroom and Adobe Bridge presets. And if you've never checked out his website, check it out because there's all kinds of good stuff over there. PhotoEffects.biz. Again, his name's Gavin Phillips. Um, so check it out if you haven't already. Now, some of the products that we market here uh, at Pixel Creator Pro, we've actually worked out with Gavin the ability to bundle some of his Adobe presets, Adobe Bridge presets, with some of the different products that uh, we market. And we want to show you how to take advantage of those presets here in Adobe Bridge, how to use them in Adobe Bridge, but more importantly, how to get them loaded into Adobe Bridge. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about using Bridge presets and a little bit about Adobe Bridge in general. Adobe Bridge uh, is a great tool for viewing your images. Um, one little tip, if you're not already aware of it, is if we select an image here in Adobe Bridge and hit our space bar, it's going to give us a full screen preview of that image. So that is a great feature to see our, our image in full living color. And you can see this is a beautiful image. High school senior, Carmen Tedder Photography out of Arkansas provided these images for us. You can see it's a really beautiful image. A beautifully exposed, beautiful girl here. And what we want to do is apply a preset to this image to convert it into something uh, very different. So if I right click on this image and choose develop settings, I have all kinds of presets that I can experiment with. So so what happens like if I did the black and white fade to rust? Let's take a look at that by hitting my space bar. You could see that it just totally transformed that image, uh, really added an interesting effect, quite beautiful indeed. Now what if I were to right click and choose a different one? Let's try the black and white dramatic 3. And I hit the space bar there. Again, Beautiful transformation to black and white right out of the box. Don't have to modify it all. Looks fantastic. Uh, one more just to show you. Um, let's go into our ancient one. See, so each one of these, look at how the dress color changes quite dramatically um, in the background and the little vignette and everything going on here. Just a really neat effect. And it's so quick and easy to apply and of course if we don't like it at all we can always go back to the original one by just choosing the clear settings option and it just gets rid of it. The other great thing about working with uh, camera raw presets is we can apply a preset to numerous images at once. So here I've selected uh, five, uh, four or five images and we'll right click on one of them and choose develop settings and let's do the black and white uh, conversion again and you can see that that conversion has taken place on all of the selected images. Also I have multiple selected images and if I hit my space bar I get a full screen preview and if I use my arrow keys I can actually cycle through each one of these images and a full screen preview. So when we're trying to do an album layout or we're doing a layout with a big a wall collage or something, we want a nice uh, large preview of our images, we can get that very instantly. And You can see in this case because we started out with beautifully exposed images that that preset applied to these images it just looks absolutely perfect in every image now not all presets will look this fabulous uh, just depends on the image and the different settings in the preset but if, if a certain preset doesn't work you can see it's really easy just to right click develop settings clear settings and let's just try something completely different for this image what if we did a black and white color fade See, so it's just got a, just a hint of sepia. If I hit my space bar, you'll see the difference. It's just a little bit of, of brown in there. It's just, again, a real beautiful effect. So you'll have a lot of fun experimenting with these presets. So with all that said, how do we go about getting those presets installed in our copy of Bridge? Well, fortunately, the folks over there at PhotoEffects.biz has given us this little text file, and these uh, paths... Uh, that we're going to be talking about is in the description here on the YouTube video. So you'll be able to just copy and paste from our description into your copy of Windows to get to the appropriate location for these camera raw settings because it can be a bit elusive. So now I'm using Windows 7. 
or excuse me, I'm using Windows Vista on a 64-bit platform, and it doesn't matter if you're using 32-bit or 64-bit on the Windows side. It's just a matter of are you using Windows XP or are you using Windows Vista or Windows 7? Because there's two different locations. Now, in my case, I'm using Windows Vista. So all I'm going to do is copy this path. And again, this path is provided for you here in the YouTube description. And I'm going to click on my Start button and Paste. Now, initially, it's not going to find any results because there's one block here that I need to change. It says your username. So I'm just going to type this in, Kevin Truax, because that's my username. And when I click on the Settings option, now that it found settings, that is my camera raw settings right here. So now you can see these are all the camera raw settings that I have currently loaded. Now, one little point to make here is you see I have a folder called Default and a folder called Easy Album. Those two folders are not visible by Adobe Bridge. I just put those there just for my own purpose. Only those uh, files that are directly in the Settings folder will be visible um, by Adobe Bridge. So just kind of keep that in mind. The other thing to point out. The folks over at photofix.biz, with their presets, they provide those to you uh, two different formats. When we're talking about the presets for Adobe Bridge, they provide those presets to you for applying to RAW files as well as applying to JPEG files. When you apply a preset to a RAW file, it's going to have a different effect than if you were to apply the same preset to a JPEG file. So what I generally recommend is most people will prefer the JPEG workflow where we copy this, the JPEG uh, camera raw settings into the settings folder here within camera raw on our computer and then when we apply any uh, Adobe Bridge preset to an image it's to a JPEG file. Now some of you will be big diehard uh, raw file fanatics and you, you don't want to work with JPEG files you want to work with your raw files and apply the presets to your raw files that's okay too. I just recommend we don't mix them because if you apply a, a black and white preset, uh, if it's not specifically stated in the name of that preset, you don't know if that preset was designed for a camera raw file or a JPEG file. And they can have very different, differing uh, effects depending on the type of image you're applying the camera raw uh, setting to. So that's really all there is to it. Now, one other point is how do we locate our username? If we're using Windows Vista or Windows 7, we may not know what our username is. And it's super easy to discover what that is. If you hit the Start button, over here towards the right, you'll see at the very top that Kevin Truax, you see that? That's my name, and that is what I set up my user account to be. Now, obviously, yours is going to say something different, but whatever yours says right here, that's going to be your user account. Now, one little point on the Mac side. Now, you Mac folks will get this. Uh, your PC folks, obviously, you'll be lost. If you look at the path for the Mac, you'll notice it says Username and then library and then application support Adobe Camera Raw and then the settings folder. Don't confuse this with the Macintosh hard drive library application support Adobe Camera Raw folder because you won't find a settings folder under the Macintosh library. You have to use your username library. So if you go to your user account, look up library, application support, Adobe Camera Raw and settings, boom, you're going to discover it. It's, it's just as easy on the Windows side, but just to make that distinction for you Mac folks, the username library, not the Macintosh library. Um, and then, of course, for Windows XP users, it, it's not quite as complicated. We just copy this path, and that, too, will take you right to the Settings folder within Camera Raw if you're using uh, Windows XP. Again, just copy the path down to the Start Run button uh, for Windows XP. It'll take you right there as well. Okay? So hopefully that's not too confusing. You may have to watch this just one more time, go through the uh, install process. But once you copy those XMP files uh, over into your settings folder, 
restart Adobe Bridge, you'll have all those Camera Raw presets available to you. If you have any other questions about uh, the uh, presets, uh, Gavin Phillips over there at PhotoEffects.biz, he's really the go-to guy when you're talking about uh, Lightroom or Adobe Bridge presets. He'll be certainly happy to answer uh, any additional questions you may have. But it's pretty straightforward, so try it out. And once you try it, you're going to love working with uh, Adobe presets, uh, Adobe Bridge presets here uh, inside Adobe Bridge. Thanks for watching.